I'm Dr. Frank Mestandria. I'm a urologist and I work here at uh, St. Joseph's Hospital in Tampa. Well, robotics allows us to do the exact same operation we did open, except they do it better. Okay, it's much more technically precise. We have 10 times magnification, so it's like operating under a microscope. We have much more precise instrumentation. You know, every instrument that you have open, we can duplicate with the robotics. So scissors, pickups, um, coagulation, all those instruments are geared for the robot and go through the robot arms and manipulate in a much smaller space than you can do with open surgery. This instrument moves like my hand. It just turns my hand into a little eight millimeter instrument. So we're able to dissect and, and remove the cancers and do all the things we would normally do in a prostatectomy or a cancer operation that we do open. We just do it through a smaller incision. What that translates into is people get a much faster recovery, much less pain and discomfort, and a much better technical operation. For prostate cancer, our margin positive rates is as low as they get in the 10 to 15 percent range. So the chance of us leaving tumor behind is minimal. Our incontinence rates are very low, less than 1 percent, which is very low overall. Um, and a much uh, better chance of returning to full potency for men in erections. There's constant evolution in the technology, and that's what makes it so exciting to be a part of. And we've set up several different programs that have been copied around the state. So we really have a very safe program. Uh, we have a very comprehensive program involved with much all different specialties, urology, general surgery, gynecology. You know, we have the same people that have been doing these cases since 2000. So we have a you know, vast amount of you know, human resources that are here to provide quality care to the patients. They're personable, they're caring, they're nice. They know how to make a positive environment for the patient. The patient's going to respond to that and they're going to do better, you know, because that is going to give them confidence. So I think that you can never underestimate the human experience.